Hey guys, what is going on? It is Miles here, and I hope you guys had a awesome 4th of July weekend. Well, today I have for you yet another free Final Cut Pro plugin. The link will be in the description below, and it's titled the Miles Zellawa Anamorphic Lens Flare. So let's go ahead and dive right into what this plugin is all about. Okay, so once you guys have downloaded that file, what you're gonna wanna do is move that over to your motion templates titles folder and drag and drop it in there or copy and paste it into there. So once you have that in the proper folder, go ahead and restart Final Cut Pro uh, and then head over to your titles. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see Miles LO Anamorphic Lens Flare. Go ahead and drag and drop that over your clip and make it the duration of your clip or however long you want that lens flare to be. So as you see right here, this is the lens flare. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is without, and this is with the lens flare. Now there's some adjustments you can make. This looks pretty sweet actually, uh, just right off the bat, uh, dragging and dropping it onto there. And the color of that lens flare, to me, I think looks pretty sweet too. The thing I don't like, there's a lot going on right over here. I don't want that because it doesn't look uh, doesn't look good to me. So I added a crop feature uh, where you can crop that down so you're not seeing it. So go ahead and drag this up until, oh, that's the bottom. That's why you're not seeing it. <laughs> let's go to the top. So let's drag that until you see, there you go. See, it's gone. So now that line that was up here, that extra flare that we didn't need is gone. So if you play this back, this is what you get. Again, um, I'm kind of liking how that is flowing so far, but you can change uh, some of the parameters over here. If you want it a little brighter, if you want it a little more intense, if you want to dim that down just a little bit, make it a little more subtle of a flare, uh, you could change the color of the flare over here uh, to whatever color that you want. Um, let's just go to like this greenish color right there. Now that's still a little too bright. Dim it down. And you can shrink the flare if you want. So if it's too big, if you don't want it full screen, you can shrink that down and make it, you know, to your liking, I guess. Uh, but for the sake of this, let's just keep it at 100. Uh, you could change the softness. There's a couple of different variations of softness. Again, you gotta play around with this to get what you're looking for uh, because every clip is different. So that's why there's um, a few different uh, parameters for you to adjust, like soft, soften, and then soften too, intensity, intensity too. Uh, you can also change the angle of the flare, which, you know, if you wanna be a little creative, um, you can just change the angle depending on your video. But for the sake of this, most lens flare goes uh, left to right horizontal. So let's just keep that. And there you go. And see this clip, he moves the flashlight and then he brings it back. You can see that lens flare pop back up. And again, you can change the intensity if it's not strong enough. Um, we can brighten that back up and again, change the intensity if we want. But for the sake of this video, that is it in a nutshell. It's pretty sweet. Um, let's just go ahead to another clip. Uh, let's just drag and drop this down on this person. So again, this is just straight drag and drop without any, you know, customization at all. I don't necessarily like this glow. So let me go ahead and crop that out of it. So. Here it is, boom. And if there's any adjustments that you guys would like to see, like, man, that'd be cool if you added this, please let me know in the comments below. Again, I'm still, um, you know, this is what I thought of. I'm not thinking of every single thing. And so uh, if there's any other parameters that you can think of, like, man, it'd be cool to have this, just let me know. I can create an updated version of this lens flare. But um, so, don't really like that blue. Let's go ahead and switch that maybe to a different color. Get your color pip picker and change that. It's looking neat, stylistic, I guess. It's probably not realistic having a lens flare that color. Um, but be creative. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It's a style, style thing. So 
I mean, that's kind of cool too, just having it like that. So that's the after, Let's see here. And then let's turn it off as she's doing that. So this is what it without and with the flares. Without, with the flares. So it adds, actually adds to the video. It enhances it a bit. Uh, let's just pick one more. So we have this uh, lady reading with her kids. Okay, and you see she has a flashlight. And so let's go ahead and drag and drop that lens flare over here. And again, there's not much we really need to do unless you want to like fine tune it, but it would even look good just like that. Um, but we can change that brightness of it, make it a little more intense, um, and perhaps even the intensity is just bring it down just a little bit so it's a little more subtle and not bam in your face. And there you go. I mean, that is not bad at all. It's softness, and let's brighten that up just a bit. Go back down with that intensity. Boom. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this plugin. It's yours free. Link will be in the description below. And if there's anything I need to change with the parameters, please let me know. Please show the love. Give a thumbs up on this video. Share it with uh, your friends who you think would benefit from this plugin. And if you have not already, subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Just go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button. That would be great. Well, guys. Till next time, be blessed and have a wonderful week.